after our joint effort of Voice of Prophecy and the Hope Beyond 2000 series with Kenneth Cox in Tacoma, Washington, we took those videos to Africa for the African Video Safari Project. We had 565 Global Mission pioneers that are now preaching the good news of Christ soon return using generators, video projectors, and PA systems in 26 countries with the goal of baptizing half a million precious souls. Imagine what it's like. The African video safari pioneers, they go into a village that doesn't have electricity. The villagers have never seen videos before. The people all come out, the generator starts, and they're on the side of the chief's hut. They watch the videos in the life of Christ, and they see the sermons, and they accept Jesus for the very first time in their lives. And then we have the Bikes for Africa project. Our grade school kids join with Northwest members and raise $56,000 to buy bikes. So our global mission pioneers who are working with the African Video Project, each one. Have a bicycle. I'm thinking you guys. <laughs> What a joy it was when we found out we were going to India for the second time, this time to On Goal. We got over there and set up our tents. We were going to plan for a big crowd, work in 50 villages. When we got everything ready the last night before the meetings were to start, everything was ready to go and all of a sudden we had a freak storm. We drove over real quickly to the site and our worst fears were realized. Everything was down. It was a total mess. The electricity was down, our 35-foot screens. Uh, we determined to go forward and we set up a temporary site. Tell them that we want them to pray for us. Will you pray for me? Last night the rain came. Last night the rain came. Hard. Our whole tent went down flat. The screens went down flat. Everything wrecked. Satan did that. But we're going to have a meeting anyway. How many are going to come to the meeting tonight? How many are going to come? The rain comes down, we want to praise your name. You created the rain so the crops will grow. You told us to go into the world and preach the gospel. Tonight when we're preaching the gospel, if it rains, it will not be easy. So we ask you to hold the rains back tonight. Bless this village right here. Help them as they come to the meeting to learn about your love and to accept you as their personal Savior. We want to praise your name today. Jesus, precious name. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you. See you tonight. That first night, people walked in from everywhere. They came in on buses and trucks, and we had over 10,000 people come to listen to the gospel. And as each night, the crowds grew and grew until we had over 45,000 people there the last night. Had that original tent been left up, no way would it have uh, taken care of the crowds that finally showed up. So the Lord had a plan. Even though that tent blew down and it worried us, the Lord was in control. Then the Global Mission pioneers were so important to have there. There's a man and wife teams. We've train them in a global mission center where they go out in the villages and stay there for five years. Maranatha worked right alongside of us. They built 50 churches in areas where there were no Christians before. I believe that our God is a God of miracles and he is anxious to use each one of us.